Hello, uh, Brian speaking. Hi, Mr. Johnson. It's Sean from the Vets here. Um, Hi, Hi Sean. Lulu. How are you doing? Hi, yeah. Um, so, um, sorry for the lateness in getting to you. Um, I ended up having to go to surgery most of the morning, so we're a little late in getting Lulu done. Um, mm -hmm. But we, we've just done the, the CT. Um, the, the masses are very extensive. The, the two large, firm lumps on either side of her neck are indeed lymph nodes, okay? Mm -hmm. um, she's also got um, her, her submandibular lymph nodes, which sit just in front of that, are also enlarged. Her left prescapular lymph node, which sits just in front of her shoulder blade, is up, and she's mm -hmm. also got three masses in her lungs, unfortunately. Um, so this is not looking very good at all. Um, mm -hmm. It's definitely not a surgical case in terms of removing them because there's, there's, the disease is just far too extensive. So what we've done, um, we've taken biopsies from the, the large one and the, the two other large lymph nodes on that left-hand side, mm -hmm. okay, um, and we've sent them for urgent analysis to the lab to find out what's going on. Um, mm -hmm. the, the, the two main differentials on the list are lymphoma, which is um, a, a cancer of the white blood cells and it, it localizes in the lymph nodes. Um, the other possibility is a condition called histiocytic sarcoma, which is effectively um, a very nasty uh, tumor of histiocytes, which are a particular type of connective tissue cell, um, and they, they they can spread very very quickly. I, I will actually keep her in tonight, um, just because where where we had to do the biopsies, there was one of them bled quite a lot. Um, it stops now, but I just want to make sure she's okay before we send her home. Okay. Tomorrow. Yes, yes, peeps. I know this is a little bit off topic, but it's something I'm going to share with you. I wanted to share it with you because it's to do with my dog, Lulu, uh, that we've had for about 10 years. Uh, she's now been diagnosed with, um, oh, well, diagnosed with cancer from the vet. Uh, the vet's guts instincts are it's you know she's got some sort of tumor um, they've done a CT scan it's come back um, it's showing uh, two tumors in her lungs uh, and also her lymph nodes are swollen um, and also she, you know she's she's poorly she's in the vets at the moment we've got to go and pick her up this afternoon they're keeping her in for observation because when they done they took some samples from her neck um, to to send it off to the lab and uh, basically she bled out quite a bit um, so they decided to keep her in overnight just for observation to make sure she's all right and we're going to pick her up this afternoon again man so I just wanted to give you guys a head up heads up man that's been going on in a scene along with work and everything and want to have you obviously the family's quite distressed right now uh, because of it because uh, we've had a dog for 10 years and you know what it's like with animals man it sucks man you, they're cute and but the one of the hardest thing about owning a pet is you you, you see it die you know what I mean it, you, you know because we always outlive not always but for the most part we outlive our, our pets so a bit of a stressful time now at the moment you know um, you know it's, it's like quarter to nine here uh i'm in the office i am going to hit the gym now for another hour get rid of some stress do a bit of running good for the brain and uh, hopefully that should help things um but uh on the upside uh test presses are back we're checking them out today uh, i'm going to pull out my little recorder just check them through and uh, hope hopefully we can move forward um you know, uh, in regards to the comments last time, I say thank you very much for all your comments, people, for, you know, um, all, all the sympathy for Lulu, uh, my dog. Um, you know, for those of you who don't have pets, man, you know, they become part of your family and, you know, it's a soul that you that you know. And, uh, you know, it feels it feels lonely without the dog there, man. It feels empty, like a, like a void is missing, you know what I mean? Especially, like, you know, she was up the vet and, like, we've, that dog, when that dog was up the vet like we 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 missed her like he's like oh crap like we've taken her everywhere of us little holidays you know to holiday parks and and that sort of thing and we've we've been anchored as well in this country for our holidays up devon and places like that we can't travel because like we you know we don't want to leave the dog because of the separation anxiety she she's a very patient dog good as gold you can you know you can you can do things like you know leave her at home for an hour pop out go to the supermarket come back and you know the house is not torn up there's not crap on the floor she's well house trained best dog ever man but like you know these things like i say they come to an end at some point man and uh just how it goes people you know um so guys if there's anyone out there who suffered the same thing you know comment down below share your thoughts have you had a pet in the past um you know has your pet 
passed away or does your pet have cancer or anything like that i'd like to know uh and because uh, i always read the comments and um yeah we're gonna get back to the beats people so don't watch that um you know peace out guys i'm <coughs> Guys are just editing this video, man, and man, choked up, bro. I was just really choked up, man. That, that piano tune there, man, is just deep. I felt it right in the heart, man. Music gets the emotion out, man, and that's why I love music so much, man. I want to dedicate this video to Tash and the kids and everybody out there who's missed a loved one, who's suffering from cancer. I dedicate this video to you, um, and uh, love you lots. So this is Lulu, she's uh, going, this is her last 10 minutes over the park before she goes for an operation. Well, her CT scan that is. I think she's got the operation at 12, providing the CT scan shows she needs to do whatever, but I'm pretty sure they got to cut that out from her neck or... I'm wondering if it's her tooth that's like inflamed and backed up because she'd have some dodgy teeth for a while. So 